in this class we are going to deploy our function which is developed locally in vs code to the azure portal first thing you have to make sure we are signed into your azure account in this azure extension then you see the subscription which is active in order to deploy what you have to do is you have to click on this deploy button over here and select the deploy function app then we have to select the folder which we want to deploy i am selecting this azure function over here then it will ask which is the application we want to deploy we have to select this application that is bl testing 104 then we will get the prompt this will override any previous deployment and cannot be undone just click on this deploy so you can see the progress of the deployment over here so once all the checks are done it will start deploying our bl testing 104 application to the azure portal now let's verify over here and let me just refresh and see whether any application or function got deployed within this application it's not done yet now we will get the message like deployment to bl testing 104 completed now let's verify from the portal now you can see that http trigger one function got deployed from our local computer that is vs code which was developed locally over here now if you click on this you will get a message like your app is currently in read only mode because as we have developed this function with the help of vs code azure won't allow you to modify this with the help of portal now if you want to see the code you can just go to code plus test over here and you can view the details currently you cannot modify this code as i told this is only in the read only mode suppose if you want to test this function you can just copy this from here and open the browser and paste it over here the url as you can see we don't have any code over here as we had selected the authentication level as anonymous now if i pass the name like bina click on enter it will give you the customized message now like this we can create a function locally with the help of vs code we can debug test and we can deploy the function right from the vs code very easily this will be useful for the developers who are used to working with the IDEs like the Visual Studio Code.